Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Arden Lee. I'm back today with another video. And in today's video, I am going to share with you the one question that you can ask yourself when something terribly wrong is going on in your life. When something awful has happened, the rug gets pulled out from under you, you're totally shocked by it, you're waylaid, blindsided, and you're like, oh no, what is going on? There is one question that you can ask yourself that will immediately start to reframe your situation and start to redirect your energy to getting yourself back on track and getting back into a positive frame of mind so that you can deal with the situation and move forward in a way that works for you. So before I tell you what that question is and explain it in the rest of this video, I would love to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Here on my channel, I love to talk about the simple tips and tricks and also the the long-term, you know, large-scale uh, habit changes that we can make in order to improve our lives, get better results, so that we can be happier, so that we can achieve our goals more easily, so that we can be successful. So, um, so if that sounds like your jam, go ahead and hit that button, leave me a comment in this video or in whatever video calls to you, and let me know how all of this is hitting you. Let me, let me know how this is working out for you, and tell me if there's a specific topic that you would love to see me give a little talk on. Um, if it's something that I feel qualified to do, I will absolutely do that for you. So uh, let's stay connected. I want to stay in your feed and, um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's keep connected. So what is the one question? Is there really one question, Arden? You may be asking me, is there really one question that I can ask myself in order to immediately turn my situation around? And actually, I believe that answer is yes. This works for me in almost every situation. So looking back over the course of my life, when I have seen things that have happened out of the blue that felt terrible at the time, that completely destroyed whatever plans I had made for myself, whatever things I was going to do, whatever I was going to embark upon, everything that I had expected came crashing down to the ground. There has, I've, I look back at those moments and it's almost impossible for me to not look at those and say, wow, actually everything worked out even better. Even some of my worst moments ever were these big break states. By that, I mean pattern interrupts, right? A pattern interruption. Something happens that immediately stops everything that I had had planned for myself because immediately there is a crisis that I need to deal with. And almost every time I look back at that in my life and I look at how everything has, uh, has unfolded from there, I always see some way in which it was a good thing that it happened. Some way in which it was telling me what wasn't working for me, some way in which it was showing me the reality of a situation, some way in which, um, in, in which it was giving me a clean slate to move on from in a better way so that I could stop doing whatever I had been doing before that led to those things happening. Now, it wasn't always my fault <laughs> necessarily. When I say so I could stop doing what I was doing, the, doing the things that led to whatever crisis happened, I don't necessarily mean that something bad happened to me because you know it was my fault because I was doing something wrong. I don't wanna put that kind of energy out there. However, there are a lot of times that we can look at a situation and we can fail to see the way that it is actually showing up for us in order to show us the reality of the situation that we're in and the best way that we can move forward. So here is the question, right? Here is the question that you can ask yourself when something terrible like this happens and you feel completely blindsided by it. The question you can ask is how is this serving me? And this is such an, such an important and powerful question to ask yourself because immediately it says, how is it possible? What way could this possibly be in my favor? What, how, how could this possibly be happening in a way that is actually working out for me in a way that perhaps I can't see or can't anticipate right now? And asking that question has absolutely transformed my life. I will not say that there has, have never been instances in which, um, you know, since then in which the uh, new things have not occurred and happened to me <laughs> and felt like crises at the time. But having this one question that I can rely on, that I can stop and say, okay, what possible way could this be showing up in my life right now in service of me? 
How is this possibly working out in my favor? If everything is always unfolding in my favor, which is a belief that I choose to assimilate into my reality that's been immensely helpful in moving things forward in my life, if everything is unfolding in my favor, how is what's going on right now maybe actually in my favor? So I'll give you a couple examples of things that felt really, really terrible at the time and I look back and they were actually serving me. Uh, one, for example, was I was involved in uh, a creative project with, um, you know, it was uh, with my band a couple years ago, and I got into some horrible fights uh, with with someone who was who was in my band at the time, and uh, and they started acting really inappropriately to me, uh, you know, uh, verbal abuse over email, you know, just these long emails, just ranting and raving, and and uh, and really inappropriate. And uh, you know, down to like slut shaming me for what I chose to wear on stage, which I was like, this is this is not like I'm hiring you to be in my bed. Like you're, this is my project. You don't get to tell me what I get to wear, and you definitely don't get to slut shame me for it. This is just ridiculous. And at the time, you know, this was several years back, but at the time, um, I would say I did not have the strong personal boundaries that I have today. And I was coming from that scarcity mindset and it would have been so easy for me to say, oh my gosh, why do people treat me this way? Like, I just want everyone to be happy. I've done nothing wrong to this person. You know, I've given them the, the opportunity to be in this band that they willingly signed up for, you know, at that time. Um, uh, it was, you know, uh, it, it was, it was just, you know, and I was, I was often, you know, um, it was also an, an opportunity for me to look, look at really, um, how I wanted to pay my bandmates because, you know, Everything that I do in my band is from a place of creative freedom and uh, and and having um, having that opportunity to to look at really saying like let me actually pay people really regularly instead of expecting them to kind of be on board that's actually going to keep things uh, keep things much cleaner. But when that happened for me at the time, it was it would have been so easy for me to say, oh my God, this is terrible. Um, why do people always always treat me like this? Where am I going to find uh, another musician to fill this spot? You know, why is this always happening to me? And, uh, and instead, you know, I was right at the start of my journey, you know, starting to change my processes, change my thoughts, change my habits, change my reality. And so I looked at it and I said, all right, how is this actually maybe working out in my favor? And I looked at it and I said, you know what? I didn't want someone this toxic to be in a creative project that means so much to me. If this person is showing me their true colors, then this actually gives me an opportunity to fire them. And that's exactly what I did. So, so again, I look back at that incident and I'm like, oh, that was the incident where that person showed me who they really were so that I could get rid of them and not have them in my life anymore so that they didn't cause more trouble down the road when I was even more invested in working with them, when there was an even closer knit relationship that would have been even more difficult to extract myself from. So that was one way that that really worked out for me, right? There have been, um, there was another thing that happened more recently where, uh, where, you know, I had a, uh, a track that I released. It was a, it's a holiday song. I just released it last week. Um, I, I released a holiday cover. Uh, my band released a holiday cover that I was really excited about. And it turned out that the wrong version of the track got premiered, um, because of someone's mistake. And, uh, and I own, I also own responsibility for that because ultimately nobody is responsible for how my, my creative projects are perceived, but me, because again, I'm the one who's responsible for, you know, for, for owning, owning what it is that I do, uh, and how it, how it gets out there into the world. But the person that, you know, that I had, that was responsible, you know, for this, for this particular uh, for this particular bit of, uh, of information transmission um, who had assured me that, that everything was taken care of had actually not taken care of it. So, um, so when that happened, you know, that, that realization when I looked and I saw that uh, the wrong version of my song had been uh, premiered on a, on a pretty substantial indie music blog for over 24 hours, I was uh, I was shocked and horrified. I felt like I felt like it would have been better if someone had just like leaked my nudes to the internet. I was like, I'm already naked on the internet in some other places anyway. Who cares, right? And it was that um, it was that exposing and that it felt that violating. So uh, so I I immediately of course went into all right all right like how is this serving me? And I came up with you know a couple potential ways and I was like well maybe. Maybe it'll end up being like kind of a scandal, you know, and uh, and I'll get more press out of the song, like oh my God, they released a rough track or or whatever or something like that, and more people will be interested because of course everybody loves to like everyone loves to see like what a fuck up happens, you know, and um, 
uh, and and you know I was like well that's a possibility or or maybe it could show up uh, in a different way and what ended up happening actually is you know I ended up ending my my working relationship with the person who made the mistake because they couldn't um, they couldn't really come up with a uh, a really good explanation and uh, and they kind of avoided making an apology so um, uh, at least for you know for a while because they they knew I was angry and they got super avoidant and that really gave me the opportunity I made a, a video earlier about this this week that conflict is an opportunity to examine your existing relationships right conflict in a relationship is an opportunity to evaluate whether that relationship is still working for you this is why sometimes when people have a relationship and a conflict comes up they'll talk about having you know, a breakup of their old relationship, but starting a new relationship, one with better boundaries, better parameters, and uh, more of an understanding of what they're getting into from the present moment where they are, not trying to have their old relationship again. So, uh, so when this happened, I, I had that opportunity to evaluate this relationship and to say, you know what, um, I'm not sure I need to be, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that I need to be spending money on, uh, on this particular this particular working relationship of mine because I'm not sure that it's actually fulfilling uh, its end of the bargain. So um, so I got to move on from that and I, I realized, I was like, you know what, maybe I was a vibrational match to this particular relationship, you know, about two and a half years ago when it started, but maybe I'm not anymore. Uh, maybe I've grown as an artist and maybe now there is opportunity now for me to um, to level up and to, to find someone else who is going to really believe in me as an artist and where I am right now, given all that all that I've done to grow in the last two years. So, you know, it's so possible when someone fucks us over or, uh, you know, or there's a mistake that's made or a terrible accident that we could not have possibly prevented, you know, I've been in a bunch of car accidents, you know, as well, <laughs> you know, um, where, where it's been like, oh gosh, this is terrible, I'm in this awful car accident. Um, but what happens, you know, then it's like, well, uh, I got a new car out of that and I also got a settlement because someone, you know, someone ran a stop sign and yeah, that was really stressful and it was hard on my body, but, um, but hey, you know, I got a better car and I got, I got a settlement out of it and maybe that's, you know, uh, maybe that's a way that it's going to, you know, it's supposed to sort of boost me and, uh, and push me into the next phase of my life. It actually caused me to slow down uh, when that happened. That happened last summer. It caused me to slow down for about a month, which really gave me an opportunity to uh, to sit at home and to evaluate where I was taking my life and what I was doing with my business to start being more comfortable doing more work from home and starting to build the foundations of everything that I'm creating now. So I look back at that and I'm like, you know what? It was kind of good that I had that month to like stay at home and think and start to build and plan out what I wanted to do uh, with my work life, with my career, with my, my coaching, my, with my professional business. And on top of that, I got a new car and I think, you know, I think in doing the math, I'm pretty sure I end up with, um, pretty sure I ended up with uh, with more money than I had <laughs> than I than I had spent on the you know on the down payment for the new car or whatever so uh, so it did end up uh, it did end up working out in my favor even though it was difficult at the time so again whenever something goes wrong if someone fucks you over that's an opportunity to look at the truth of your relationship there if something happens and something goes wrong for you you know what what is it showing you that is out of alignment that you can make a change to Anything where something messes up royally is an opportunity to look at where that thing went wrong in the first place and what you can do to start aligning your relationships better so that you can start to change that and have less of that in the future. You know, certainly someone randomly running a stop sign and hitting my car was not something that I could look at to necessarily change. Uh, but I did look, look at that and say, you know, how is this serving me? And ultimately it did give me that time off to start thinking about my business and start laying so many foundations. And it, it worked for me, you know, long term. Uh, I look back and I don't regret that one bit. So start asking yourself that question. When something goes wrong, just ask yourself that question. How is this actually showing up in service of me? How is this actually serving me even if I can't see it right now? And it can be hard. And sometimes that answer won't come to you for a couple days or maybe even a couple weeks. But if you start asking it, you're getting yourself back into that right frame of mind. You're not catastrophizing everything and you're not making up a story about how this always happens to you and you're a victim and everything is terrible and the world is on fire and life is not worth living anymore. Because believe me, I used to be in those thought cycles and they're terrible and they're miserable. So, <laughs> so a much, much, much better approach is to always believe that even if you can't see something in the moment for its value, uh, that it is always unfolding in your favor and uh, assimilating that belief and really putting, uh, you know, putting the work behind it 
uh, to make that a part of your reality will absolutely transform your life in ways that you uh, that you might not be able to anticipate. Sounds simplistic, but uh, sometimes simple things actually really work. Thank you for paying attention to this video. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.